You make the beats, I fix the beats. Your beats suck, and I'm here to help fix them. So let's fix some beats. This first submission comes from Zesty, and Zesty says, yo, what's good? This is my first ever whole beat from scratch. Congratulations on making it. That's a big accomplishment. You haven't been producing for a while and you literally don't know any music theory. That's all good. You don't need music theory. You'd like me to try and fix it. You sent it to the right place. You sent it to the right place. So that's all good. Give you some advice and tips on melodies. We will mixing all that good stuff. Everything we will dive into. Let's give it a listen. Okay, okay, I've heard, I've heard what I need to hear. FL Keys is kind of, whoa, it's not FL Keys, this is Citrus. Why is it named FL Keys? Also, you know what, you got Citrus. We'll deal with the preset later. Let's look at what you're doing here. Um, I'm just going to assume that you're in E major. Whoa, or some version of E minor. You know what, I'm just going to leave this up to the GOAT auto key to do the work for me. Why did you mute some empty tracks? Okay, so I'm completely wrong. It's C sharp minor, typical. Yo, this is you made a long piano melody, my boy. C sharp minor. They're so going three, two, one, two. I don't like this progression. Oh no, I was technically right about E major. I don't, I don't like this. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna change this. We're gonna go back to E minor because it. You got a one. Like if we just look at your bass notes, you got one, seven, six in the major scale. We bring these down though, which we're going to do to blame. Oops, I highlighted all of the wrong things. Now let's just put the rest of this in key. Okay, so this is gonna be this is gonna be a minute. This is gonna be a minute for sure. Cause you got a lot of dissonance in this. A lot of this dissonance. Whoa, I feel like we need to start from the ground up. Cause your chords are just your your chords are all over the place. Like this is your your root of the chord, I'm going to say. It's just confusing. Like technically, technically, like this is a chord here, and this would just be like the suspended second of your seventh. I don't like this. Like off the rip, that sounds way better already. Your chords are too dissonant. Air them out. Give them some room to breathe. We can go to the borrowed seventh here. That might be good. Yeah, we're cooking. Um. Okay, so now we're kind of out of the key. We need to change your preset. This preset is doo-doo water. What is a good preset in Serum? I don't want a marimba. Well, I've not touched Serum in a long time. Yo, Samurai Jack sounds hard. Might sound terrible though. Yeah, that's not it. That's not it. Let's give you a pluck. Weird, not what we want. Okay, let's let's just kind of clean this up. Let's just EQ clean it up because damn it, it's painful on the ears. That high end. And just decrease them. We're gonna delete this. We don't need like this extra stuff that you're doing. I feel like OTT would do some damage here. Also like this little like, low end that I just want out of there. Okay, your melody is now too quiet because I decreased the velocity. So let's like, just bring it up a little bit. All right, what do you got going on with the clap? Solid clap. It's like fine hi-hat, honestly. Clap's a bit quiet, but not too much. Oh, what? So like you're doing some good stuff here. The kick and the, the 808 pattern are, are okay. It's it's a spins, you know, there's no issue with that. I feel like your kick's a bit loud. Like 
Like now, like this is where this is where your Ada wait and, and kick just start to deviate from each other for some reason. So why are you on C2? What? I mean, go go you, but I feel like that was just kind of pointless. Like you could have just put it at C5, but or just left it at C5 actually. Yeah, see, this is where it kind of gets wonky. You've got this rhythm going, and you're also just, why are you playing the exact same note throughout? Mix it up, mix it up, please. Because what, you're going like one, six, seven, no, one, seven, six. Oops, I forgot what you were doing for a second. It sounds fine on C, it's in key, but technically that wasn't really in key before, if I remember correctly. Oh, you got like this transition here, but the transition's not lined up. You want to line this this bad boy up. You'll see like there's a peak and you want to line up the peak usually. It's not always the case, but usually it is. Sounds a lot better now. This next submission comes from Natsuju from the Discord server. If you're not in there, by the way, you should join it. There is a link down in the description. Natsuju's beat doesn't have an 808. We'll figure it out. Let's give it a listen. Yeah, low key, I feel like you don't even need an 808 to be honest with you. Like this kind of has like a bit more of like a lo-fi-ish vibe or not lo-fi, but like a boom bappy vibe. Your kick, your, your, whoa, what are you doing with all these different note colors? That's kind of wonky. Either way though, your, your kick mixing, like the mixing on the whole thing is kind of questionable. You, you literally just did not mix. You sent this to me and said, yo, please make my beat. Kick is so quiet. Because we want more of like that boom bap you feel, let's turn the shift on so it's got a bit of swing to the kick. Also, let's clip the kick a bit. I want to make it kind of chunkier. And then let's sidechain that to the melody just to give it a little bit of impact. Honestly, I'm not loving this kick sample. Which is the perfect time to tell you about my new Havoc drum kit, which I just dropped, and you can get that only on presetsupply.com. There's a link for that down in the comments. That's where we're gonna get a kick from. It'd be really cool if you had like some ghost kick kind of things going on. Yo, what are you doing with the snare? Why? Oh, you wanted to go for drill, didn't you? Sorry, but you are not going for drill with these drums at all. No, no shot we're letting that happen. Again, we want some swing on this snare, so we're gonna shift it. Also, I'm gonna randomize the velocities on both the kick and the snare. Um, just give it a little bit more of like a humanish feel. What's this? You know what? It's kind of weird, but I, it's kind of, it works. It works, it works. We'll leave it be. Again, we're gonna shift the hi-hats. We'll put a little bit like funkier shift on these just because they're kind of bouncy. I want to randomize the velocities again, make them feel a little more all over the place. I'm going to pan them to a tiny, tiny bit. And we do need to turn these down. Also, I think it'd be kind of crazy if we threw a little bit of delay on there. Like, nothing too intense. What's this? What's this? That's some nice bounce in there though, for sure. Um, we want to throw in a bass as well. What are you What are you doing with the melody? Are you just reversing this? I'm kind of confused. I mean, I guess we'll we'll just throw in like an acoustic bass with contact. That's actually kind of kind of funky. <laughs> I like this. Um, and then you go to the A here. Again. 
again, I'm just going to shorten these by the tiniest amount. I'm just going to shorten everything actually by a tiny amount. I mean, technically you reverse this too, didn't you? Or no, we want to flip it horizontally, not vertically. That's kind of cool. It'd be really nice if like we added in like one other melodic component, just kind of doing some chords or something like that. Yeah, something like this is kind of cool. And then you could just like freestyle piano on top of this. And then we could just like, I don't know, put like one of these little flare notes here. This might sound terrible though. And then let's maybe drop this down an octave. Just keep like freestyling something. Just like come up with come up with whatever you want. And let's just like randomize the velocities a ton. And then let's slap some reverb on here because again this is FL keys. We want to give it a little flavor. RC20 just to kind of give it that like boomy, bappy, vinyl-y vibe. By the way, if you want to submit beats for videos like this, all the information that you need is down in the comments, so check it out.